of course, yeah, you want to pull off the IO app wherever you want. It's just super useful. We we did see a Dawnbreaker, if I'm not mistaken, earlier this morning. But it didn't for Oh, hold up. Stominion got so he, but then the, there's the tower skewer, and we have nothing scary to see here. As luckily enough for bait in this uh in this lane, even though their damage is the one that is being actively reduced, they're not the they're not having that much of a risk to be taken down. Oh, but down bottom, uh, the takedown is gonna be on both self aid and so he as yep, dangerous Stominion and placebo combination. It's doing wonders right now. So he going in for the deep scout there and rotating towards mid to help out but then he has changed course up top and self hate is gonna be left in danger sunset nice reaction there with the avalanche he will take down stomanian oof that was so freaking close losing the luna for a second time below six minutes that would have been super punishing and you really do need the mask of madness oh it's gonna be two though placebo oh he's gonna Iron Shell burst down self-hate, but his life is at risk as well. The flag cannon missiles are connecting. A little bit of mobility around the middle lane. The scary thing is, Rinsey is completely left alone. And already he's a little bit higher when it comes down to net worth compared to the Luna. Once he gets the armlet, it's gonna be a little bit more ugly, and still Minyan is gonna be caught trying to stack up there. Well, no, actually, it's not stacking time. They just wanna take some stacks while they can, then the... Oh, that's a free RP right there in the middle of the stairs. Skewer back, so he's dead. We have body block, pushed back with the surge. Nice avalanche from Sunset once more. But they will take him down. Mario I this time, I'm gonna deny himself in the in the neutrals, and they are keeping up the pressure. Closing in, nice flame break, firefly. He is burning, but they're just gonna give it up as a, so he teep is in as well. East. So far, it's the go-to Manta being picked up right after the Mask of Madness, but usually Mask of Madnesses can allude to full damage Lunas. I do hope that they will consider relocate down bottom, RP onto Sunset, but they're gonna latch onto Zohi in the back. Nice takedown, Sunset, he will go down as well. And this is the good counter that... But we have seen a couple of issues when it comes down to bait team plays. They're always either looking for these single pickoffs, which are 100% certain, or they're aiming in for the, the big fights. And a lasso, nice catch. Sunset, he's gonna be locked and taken down by Rinsey. And this was a pretty much a free-handed kill for them. As the rest of Saib, they are close by. Stomanian does not have... Lasso this time around, they will throw him back with X marks the spot, pull down, survives almost everything, but eventually will burst thanks to that cleave. And the smoke. Oh, oh, dandy. A little bit caught red handed and away from everybody there. Side so definitely will be happy to take that one down and they have eyes on another prize his name is placebo they won't get him in the pit of malice but the avalanche is gonna connect nice vacuum but absolutely no follow-up of course you do have a little bit of damage as well coming in from the conda you do have the crit the crit enabler you do have the additional attack damage, so it's a very go-to go item, especially good for universals. And the lasso catch will be made. Riyav locked out. Dendi, nice find there, but he's gonna, he's gonna pop the RP though, but not gonna be able to take down anybody. Rinsey fighting off with self-hate. This Luna 
right in the middle of it, BKB keeping her alive as well, but now they see her out in the open, push her back with the rift, keep on the punch and take her down. Stomanian though dies, they have a lock on to placebo as well, two down at the cost of Luna and one forced down buyback. We can see nice jump, oh but no, he's gonna be locking through a bit of malice. Nice, Torin Driaf, he's gonna lift four in the air, Zing is still fighting it off. The a bit of malice once again popped up, Miroy just pumping all the health back into Rinsey, but eventually he will be taken down. Tethering to the next target, it's gonna be Stomanian. And are they gonna commit? Nope. But they will do a little bit of... I love the attempts from both sides. Attempts for Skewers, attempt for Walls of Replicas. But they're just not gonna get anything out of it. Mary? Uh-oh. Riaf. He's gonna get spotted out again. Tries to defend himself with Tornstorm, but BKB not available. And he's just gonna get bursted down. No, and so he... Hello! There's gonna be another one. Rinsey getting a double kill out of it. I mean, Zab got super scared there. They went full-blown panic mode. And with that, the Aegis shall be granted for Rinsey. They also get a very nice Roche banner. And Sunset. What are you doing there, my dude? Oh, Senitza. Whoa. Lots of these one by one pickoffs. Dive. What are you doing, my dudes? Holy moly, that's three kills across the. Five man smoke. Oh, self hate. Super close. Up. Yeah, they have eyes on him, but Sunset will be the one to initiate first pit of Malice in the back. Mary! Uh oh, that's a big target there. Ghost ship misses out on everybody, but they are forced to be on the run here. They cannot do much without their precious Io. Blink one, blink two, blink three. Everybody gets the hell out of there, but placebo, he's gonna be found. Toss. Oh, nice four staff. <laughs> Pushing him out of the pit of Malice, but eventually they're gonna get him. Who used that four staff? That was just kind of, you know, un almost a very big misplay. But that IO kill was so freaking good. It was really crucial. And right now he's back into the picture. Sunset, nice avalanche toss. He will find Stoman and insta duel best here from both sides. Ghost ship. It is gonna miss once again. But they get a lock on to Rinsey with the into the pit. Hold down the damage. It is enough. He will lose life number one. Mary. Just pop the relocate there. But not sure if it's gonna help anybody out, Rinsey. He will fall yet again here. Does not have a buyback. Selfie. The Luna Moonglay Fate Fest. It's just having a. Well, it's just bouncing through every single target, every single building she can find. And really nicely laid out, not gonna lie. Air Force, the Stevo, nice vacuum, but no wall replica as a follow up. Dendi has about 70 seconds left on the RP, not sure where he used it up. Find self gay. Throws it into Placebo's hands, but actually, nope, <laughs> he will not. Throw and expose this GG for sure. Saib, very nicely played. It was a super slow match and it was a very patient from both sides. But Saib, they got the best out of it. I love the amount of, of enabling that Zenitsa provided, largely uh, relying, even though. The, the Luna will split away from the rest of the team and they will catch the Enchantress, so he a little bit in the danger, forcing Bait to fight, well, forcing Side to fight. They will pop the disruption onto self heat even call in Mary Y for that extra pressure. It's gonna be run back for Side. So he Blood grenade, stun, they will get him, body block from Palacebo, and it's gonna be first blood. After a little long while, Mary White will take down the. I mean, it's a long walk away from the lane, and a little bit of a breathing space for Riaf. 
I was hoping for that early rotation to try to get the TA a little bit more under control, but they're just gonna keep it safe. For the time being, Sunset. Attempt for a toss on to Miri White. But the damage is still not that sufficient. You cannot really take down the IO here. Oh, unless you get that level 6 self. Hey, a little bit deep there in the danger zone. Gets a lot of dead tower damage. Is <laughs> gonna Oh, throw in a nice high five. But it's Zohi who is leading the charge with the centaur here. Takes down Doom again and placebo. He's gonna get sniped down eventually. Maybe mid lanes rotations popping soon? Nope. Not just yet. Then he's just actively moving across the screen, getting bounties, refilling his bottle, rinse and repeat, trying to pressure up as much as he can around the mid lane, of course, farm the side camps. And oh, self hate! It's gonna be super bursted by all of those poison stacks. And of course, the double edge as well was of huge aid here. It's gonna be a trade off, zooming in for the TA. With only just one level of side place, he can turn lanes super annoying. And come about level, level 4 is just your free farming spell. As we said, it's hand in hand with the Luna's farming. We do see them swapping around at the net worth. Still too early to tell. But finally, the pressure will be applied down bottom to which side will respond. Nice double coil. The focus is on to self hate Jens yet again, but Dryav and the rest of the crew are making it... Uh, they tried to defend it. They will take down Placebo for self hate She will get the death so pretty soon, but this Luna now has a Manta. And you do have the, the built-in illusions thanks to the Disruptor, so... The Shadow Demon with his Disruption. So that's a bunch of Luna illusions that you need to deal with. And then he's just having a super free time. Pushing through lanes, pushing through camps. Mirwise taking him places, he's showing him the world. Meanwhile, they will lose Placebo on the other side of the map with a little bit of a delayed response there from Mirwise and Dendi. But could they get a lock on to somebody? Nope, they're just gonna run off back home. They are just happy with keeping up the pressure, but oh, they will find them on the other side, though. Exactly where they landed. Double coil, they are keeping up the pressure. Mary Y, he will die along with Sunset. And then the, he's buying himself a lot of time, but just prolongs the inevitable. Dies with a very nice streak going into Zenitsel's direction. So they will not be able to keep up with this fight. And of course, you want to catch Miri first, rather than Dendi, because no matter how much damage you pour into him, he's always gonna- as long as he's stuttered, he's fine. As up on top, Rinsi, uh-oh. They will find self Kate now so he's Sunset. They're a little bit too late to the party, Mary also relocates in with Dendi. Stampede, they are picking up the chase, nice blink away from Sunset, so he in the danger zone, he's gonna get stunned up. The poison stacks are amping up and the enchantress will be taken down. Tether broken, then he decides to stay here and Riav always oh, gonna be found on the other side. Nice avalanche save. They won't connect with the poison stacks though, but Sunset definitely gonna lose his... No, actually he's not gonna die. They will let Twin Gates, Rinsey, jumping in. And he does have the Eclipse. So if they do realize what's happening. Leaves Zenitsa and Sohi in the field, self hate in the back lines. They will bait out Rinsey, but this Luna, she does have a BKB self hate, just staying down there with the melt. He will be hurt there, but uh, she's just gonna get obliterated. Saib, they played as Roche fight really, really badly, and they will pretty much give it to bait for free. Of course, the Sharn on the Luna already present, making her waves, well, hurt a little bit more. But yeah, side they desperately need their BKBs. God freaking damn it. Yes, Rinzi does hurt with those AoE glaives, but you do need to fight back somehow, Sunset. 
They will attempt for a jump there. Oh, but then these just blast through them like they're made out of nothing. Sunset and Riaf, they get destroyed side by side. Very good puck player as well, so he can just maneuver across the map, jump back and forth and waste a lot of enemies time, but... Sunset... Oh, dude, what are you doing over there? A familiar scenario for Sunset. He is... Another minute until Roshan comes back. I see at least one and a half sighting on one side. Uh oh, side. They will attempt to get out of their base, but Sunset gets punished up against Stampede. On the lookout for self hate. Yay. Whew. He will hide safely there and TP out. Meanwhile, Zainza. He's the one who's gonna try to wrap this game out. One barracks? Ah! Well, thanks to the catapult. <laughs> it will take down the ranged. And Senitsa, uh-oh. They find Bendy and Mary Y. Is the focus onto the Lashrek trying to break the fetter, but no, they are holding on together. Eventually they will break. Bloodstone used up. Nice stun there. And they will take down Bendy finally. Along Mary Y. What a nice catch that was. I Still does not have any Aghanim upgrades. Once he gets them, it's gonna be even worse. Zenitsa. About two thirds of completion for the BKB. Uh oh. Riaf. Just walking by himself around the. the oh, they will go! They wanna end this! Buyback's gonna be forced out. Everybody else from Cyber across different sides of the map, Mary Wine, is gonna be caught into the foil. They really want to take down this IO first. Nice disruption save from Stoman and in the back line, Zenitsa jumping in with the DK. And now there's the fight. Riaf. Looking still in the middle, willing to keep up the chase, wants to go on Stoman and Mary Y closes in with the Ogre Totem. But they're not gonna take anybody down. Rizzi, though, remains in the base. Life number one has been taken down. And Placebo really wants to open up safe passage into high ground for taking the sour, but it's not gonna happen. DKB still hasn't been used. Riav dies for a second time! Stealth still keeping up the pressure. Rinzi Q will be a takedown onto Sunset. And he's still alive and well. And Luna. Rinzi Q. With the Divine Rapier, and the Satanic, and the Scotty, and the Butterfly. This is a super scary Luna, that's for sure. And, I mean, 700 damage going in your direction, just from a single right click. And that thing just jumps across. Oh, but they will commit for a jump. Oh, but it's just gonna backfire! Holy shit! Rinsey and everybody, they will instantly take down Psy by surprise there. self still remaining in the back lines as Riaf sets up a nice coil, but now... Oh, they will get a lock on to self -hate. He does manage to pop off the BKB. Nice hurricane save, but no! He will die! Riaf still keeping up the pressure, but GG is gonna be called up. Bait definitely measuring up to, to Saib's aggression. They're gonna take game two in a well in a better style uh, compared to Saib taking that image, which is a very good counter to to them. I mean, your main prio here is just to make sure the AM starts farming. Get the battle fury as soon as possible. The sooner the better. Below the 15 minute mark, it's gonna be better than ever. Here you why? Nice catch there with the blood grenade. Not gonna attach to a second bramble, but the first blood will be delivered. And that's the catch that you're hoping for. As Crystal Maiden is always a... Just make sure the aim is safe. And resources are dropping s severely low. That's the last tango being used up. You only have the lotus to do something with. Oh, the bird! It's gonna throw him back, so he he's still sticking around there. Pops the Firefly and deals a lot of damage onto Placebo, but self he will attempt for a jump here. Oh, and the flat cannon is just gonna burst him down. 
doesn't even have the chance to use the Lotus. Even if he did, he would have. It would have been a waste. Stomanian, still keeping up the pressure, wants to take Sohin down. They will latch on to him, and yep, they will eventually get him. Still within that time period. It's all about these micro plays at the start with this anti mage. Just. A couple of hits is enough for one spell not to go through sunsetting the meanwhile caught up into the shockwave, but oh that skewer forward is gonna lock Dendi into it and forces out the RP as well. Riaf still keeping up the pressure, gets caught up by the frostbite. With a swashbuckle, he will kill Stomanian, but Dendi gets both of them right afterwards. Even though I did think that the RP was a little bit of an overextension, but a kill's a kill, and he got Two of them. Tower is of course, taking down the Pango. It's a big one for sure. Which side will try to disrupt? Does have the primal split, so if he pops it, now in a 3v3 contest, he does have the, the upper hand. Bramble, root it up. Nice blink away, but the primal split, there it is. Popped up. Latched on to Sohi. The, the rocket is gonna land. Rav. Oh, nice. Nice jump there, but still so he will be bursted down as Rincy travels through across the gate and decides to join in on the fight as well. Tries to punish Selfie as Riaf is all the way to the side. Frostbite from Mary freezing field and he's gonna blink away at about 25 HP. Does he have a TP though? Oh, sunset. Snipe down and it's still looking bad as Selfie. He is still there. You know, actually, looking pretty abysmal. He just managed to get the power threads up and rolling, but it's gonna take a lot of time until he gets the Battle Fury, so without it, he's just right now dead weight. So he, oh my lord. Just instant deleted on the spot. What's wrong with these guys? Their two last attempts for a stack were a little bit weird. Oh god damn it. Riaf. And Sunset just jumps in a little bit too late. They can't take him here. Stomanian still leading the charge. Fall down. Terrorize. Well, he will drop it. Right as Dandy lands on top of him. But. Yep, there's the Lincoln Spear. He's gonna also pop the Corrosive Case, which is gonna be used on to Dendi, who skewers Zenitsa back, and he will take him down before the RP is popped up. You can see, jumping in, they are charging up the Terrorize, but there's not a release just yet from Sunset. Zenitsa dropping severely low here, fighting for his life. A super overdue Blood Grenade is gonna reach him, and he's gonna get sniped down by Rinzi. Oh, Dendi, nice catch. He finds your oh, Riaf, and so he's gonna jump right in the middle of this. So is Zenitsa. He is still willing to fight. Takes down Mary White. Dendi, nice bedlam there. He will take down both of them, but Rinsey decides to join in. Snipes down Sunset. They will lose two for three. Quick TP to the other side. He is still in place. Find self hate. Instant initiate onto the AM. Oh, that they get gonna get the root. They're gonna yep, they are not gonna allow him to pop the primal split. Nicely played out, selfie. <laughs> we'll throw in an extra tip. But yeah, that's a good kill. And finally we, we do see the anti-mage popping off. Oh, another jump, lasso. Dendi's gonna be found, latched on, rooted out, but still manages to pop the BKB RP. Skewer back. We're not gonna get Zenitsa though, who has the duration of his BKB up and available and Selfie jumping in from the side. He is willing to fight this. Morph into the game for a little while. Instant lead on Zenitsa. Ryav takes down Mary Y. It's 3-4-2 in the favor of Sai, finally. But can they get more or can they get one return kill to make it even? Then the answer is neither. They're just gonna keep up with the safety they have obtained. They still don't wanna fight into an Aegis Morphlink. Bait. Nice Tormentor takedown. Mary Y. Gets the shard. 
And a similar scenario is going in on the other side, where Scythe are attempting to get a Tormentor, which will alert Bait, obviously, Dandy finding a juicy RP. They will get a lock on to Cell Cape, but he will survive, freezing field in the side, so he looking super low. Raph was the first one to be taken down, Dendi. The illusions? Nope, they're not gonna kill him. Everybody run away. So he TP out? Nope, you're not going anywhere. Self hate? TP out? Yes. Okay, they got at least one going off and it's gonna be on a big one. They're already in the pit with Sai taking the high ground entrance for Stominion and Placebo are already anticipating an imminent attack. Illusion scout out. Zenitsa will commit for the jump and take down the gyrocopter before this team fight kicks off. And they want to go for more illusion sent in, so he's just gonna get sniped down and insta buys back. Both supports are gonna buy back here. It feels like an, we're gonna be seeing an all out team fight for a uh, contest for the Roche. I don't know, this is such a freaking awkward item. Why not the BKB? Nice catch, Dendi insta delete sunset. Another buyback of a support called in from Saib here. Placebo, oh, doesn't have mana to pop the primal split. Lasso does not go all the way in a re-up, keeps up the pressure, he finds everybody from bait, but to land in into a three-man RP, freezing field from the side, so hate, no, he's not gonna blink in anywhere. Oh my lord, Riaf manages to find the TP back home. And Sunset, Bedlam, nope. It's just gonna be a dieback. Obviously, this anti-mage is not coming back. They are here to clean house. And this Morphling is just raining out of control. He does have the Conda, he does have the BKB, which he hasn't even used. It's that good of a game for, for Morphling, after all. Primal Split popped up. Zenitsa locked away from everybody else. It's gonna be an easy target for Rinsi. We have thrown in air gel for such a long time, Bendy. They will find another one. Megas are gonna be secured. And it's GG, for sure. You, you cannot pull off a miracle with the Senti Mage. Tier 4s are down, they're going all in. Rinsey with the heavy hitting on the tower, but he will first delete self hate. And it's a bait victory after all. Good game, GG is gonna be called up. And bait, they will take down side in a 2-1 victory, completely measuring up against their opponents. These last two games have been impeccable on their side, and kudos to them. They have salvaged a couple of points to get closer into the upper brackets, but 